The Rivia Hedos Island group is one of the most spectacular natural systems left in the world. Because of its high productivity, a great deal of food for animals, and many habitats, manta rays and many species of sharks are found here, where they are found in very small numbers elsewhere in the world, they are abundant here. Citizen Science is a program where recreational divers like you and me come together with scientists working hand in hand. What you get out of participating in a program like Citizen Science is that not only do you get to dive the most amazing dive sites with less divers, but you also get to participate alongside with the scientists on conservation and preserving these incredible destinations. One of the only prerequisites to participate in the citizen science program is to be a scuba diver and to have an open mind and the willingness to learn. Um, what we've done is we've brought on some very world-known scientists. We have James Ketchum, we have Robert Rubin. James is an expert on sharks. Dr. Robert Rubin is an expert on mantas. And so we bring them aboard and we are able to not only see the way they work, it's a hands-on program completely hands-on and that's really exciting. This is a great collaborative work that means that we're involving regular tourists on our research and the Kino uh, Guardian of the their company they have been very positive about this uh, endeavor, this project and they supported us since the beginning so now it's becoming a reality. We're here as a team of scientists. We're doing uh, shark research and manta research. We're doing telemetry stuff. That means we're following the sharks and mantas with electronic devices, transmitters that tell us where they're going and all that. So we're tagging both with satellite tags. Satellite tags, uh, they send a signal when the animal comes to the surface to a passing satellite. So in that way, we get information how the animal is moving in different different places and how it's moving between the islands and all that information. Acoustic tags uh, tell us, that's the other type of tag we're using, they're telling us how they're using specific spots on each island or at each site within each island. We're also placing uh, baited cameras, that means uh, cameras, video cameras with bait in front of that and that's for uh, one of our graduate students. Um. Uh, studying which areas are uh, important for nursery or for reproduction. So I want to determine that with the cameras and some other techniques. And we're also doing sensing of sharks and mantas. We go down with a slate that's on our arm and we're counting how many sharks, how many mantas and what they're doing also a little bit on the behavior. So we're doing many, many things. I am learning a lot more than I would ever learn on a regular liveaboard. Um, it's been exciting, the shark tagging. Uh, I, who would ever want to miss an experience like that? I mean, it's incredible. This is your much more part of the experience of the ocean. It's very nice because you're actually getting something out of every species that you're looking at. Um, it helps people understand why we need to protect species. Absolutely, I would do this in a heartbeat. And I'll never forget it for the rest of my life. If we were not doing this kind of project, there wouldn't be information in relation to how much the sharks are using these protective zones. So with our uh, research, we found that the sharks are moving beyond this protective zone and we're actually proposing an extension of the marine reserve because the marine reserve as it is right now, is not enough. That's our work and we're trying to determine how they move and when they move different places so we can explain it to policymakers so they understand what areas need to be protected. 
The reason that citizen science programs are so important is that if it was not for the recreational diver, the scientist wouldn't have a method to get out to these remote destinations like Revilla Quijedo and the Sea of Cortez. They need a boat and we have one. We've seen great, great participation from tourists. Most of them are involved. They want to do something. They want to help with the tagging. They want to help measure the sharks. They're intrigued about these animals. They love to see these animals underwater. But most of them, they've never seen them out of the water. So we bring the animals out of, out of the water. And they're, they're just amazed with all this work. And, and we're here to also to answer all the questions. Uh, when we refitted Quino Guardian, we had every intent on having its purpose be what it is. Science, investigation, education, conservation. And most importantly, our name of fame has always been our crew on Rocio del Mar and Quino Guardian. And we have made sure that our crew is the best support system that a science team could possibly have. The areas that we have chosen to conduct our citizen science programs are, it's like the last frontier. They're the most pristine places on earth. And so it, there's an urgency for us to protect these areas, an urgency to make a difference. And that's why citizen science programs are so important to these areas, so that we can take scientists out there and make sure that we are doing the best that we can.